time. Such an interesting concept. We never seem to have enough time, do we? Not to do all the things that we want to do anyway. And sometimes it just seems to pass way too quickly, quicker than at other times, especially when there's something we really, really need to do and time just seems to run out just before we manage to get it done. As is the case in tonight's story, another fantastic tale for you on this Sunday evening. Now, I don't normally do stories on a Sunday, but, well, if you tuned in on Friday, you'll know I felt a little bit bad about doing just a short story, so consider this one a special bonus to all of you who tune in regularly. Well, my dear friends, it's time to once again sit back and relax with your favourite drink, and listen. If you're listening to this, then consider yourself lucky. I just managed to escape that creature and tell this story as I hide in my apartment closet. Now, I apologize if this is a little sloppy, but that's only because I don't have much time. I'm saying this to warn you, and everyone, of this monstrosity that is going to be the death of me in a short amount of time. It is a creature referred to as Trapo Espiritu, which is Spanish for Rag Spirit. Yes, I know it sounds dumb, but please, keep listening. I was warned about this being by my mother, who has recently been warned by her mum. A generation to generation sort of thing. Well, anyways, Trapo Espiritu is supposedly known to go from house to house each night, provoking the host of the house, and slowly and brutally killing them. Where Trapo strikes next is never known. But death can be avoided, and that's precisely what I am here to tell you. First off, if Trapo is to be visiting you next, you'll know the day that follows the night of its coming. There are four signs of Trapo's approach. Your day will go smoothly, and not a thing wrong should happen, except you'll have a strong gut feeling that something isn't right. Throughout your day, you will be able to see figures in your peripheral vision wherever you go. Surprisingly, this will not scare or startle you. But whenever you turn to see the figure face to face, it will have vanished as if it were never there. These figures are believed to be the ghosts of Trapo Espiritu's past victims. You will have gone somewhere on this day maybe to work or the store, but somewhere nonetheless. You will come home, and when you do, you should see a small piece of white notebook paper taped to the front door. It should say in clear and neatly written letters, Ojos Gerados. Upon finding this paper, it is imperative that you burn it in your fireplace. Make sure no one sees the paper, nor the burning of it. Your last sign will be that you will go to bed at 12 o'clock, unintentionally. Even upon knowing that you will, you will do so without intention. Now, this is the time to get comfy and adjust whatever needs to be adjusted, like pillows and other things. This is the only chance you will get to move at all until sunrise, so take clever advantage of it. Once you get into a position that you are sure you will not toss and turn in, you will fall to sleep. You will have plenty of dreams during your time of sleep, Dreams you never knew were possible. Dreams so real, you feel as if it's more than a dream. 
like you're really there. Do not take this time for granted and enjoy it while you can. Your pleasure will turn to fear real soon. By the time your dreams are over, you will become fully aware of the noises around you, as if you just closed your eyes and went to bed. Your eyes still closed. Be sure to keep them that way for the next two hours. It should now be four o'clock and two hours until sunrise. Now, Trapo's game begins. You'll start to hear a scratching sound at your door. Trapo Espiritu has arrived. The scratching will carry on for a minute or two before stopping dead in its tracks. Your nose will begin to itch greatly. Don't scratch it. The itch will go away on its own. Trapo is now spiritually connected to you. Now, let's discuss Trapo's appearance, since you'll never see it for yourself if you want to survive. Trapo has the body of a normal human being. He stands at about six foot three inches tall and is a bit round at the waist. Trapo is no human though. He is made up of messily sewn rags and leaves. He still makes out a perfect humanoid look though. His face, no different than yours or mine, except with two sewn up eyes. Trapo cannot see you, find you, or kill you while his eyes are sewn shut. The only way his eyes can open is by none other than you. Since Trapo Espiritu is now spiritually connected to you, you pull the trigger of your own demise. If you open your eyes even the slightest bit, it will cause the stitching in its eyes to unravel. Then it will be able to see and kill you in its slow and gruesome manner. However did I escape? Hmm. When Trapo attacked, I managed to evade its attack and locked it in my room to buy me some time. Don't think that this means you can run away from Trapo once you've opened your eyes. Once Trapo's eyes have been opened, it will follow you until given the chance to kill you, if not done there and then. I have only mere minutes left of my life until it comes. I cannot stop it. All I can do is warn you. So, I continue here. After your nose itches for some time, Trapper will now be in the room with you. Its stench is like that of rotting eggs and scum. Its voice, raspy and deep. Trapper will begin its game by crawling up the walls and ceiling at a slow, eerie pace, making noise while doing so. Ignore this and keep your eyes shut. Trapper will notice your resistance and will begin to call your name in its grotesque, deep voice while still crawling. Keep your eyes shut and don't move. Try imagining something that you would really like to do. That will make it easier to ignore. Trapper won't stop there though. It will move on to things even more tempting. You may hear a breaking of glass or ripping of stuffing. It may sound and feel like your favorite toy 
almost prized possession is being ruined. Don't worry, Trapper cannot break or touch any of your things. At least, not when its eyes are still so closed. Trapper will then begin to cheat a little bit, as you may feel some sort of liquid dripping onto your face. Mere drips, but still, keep quiet, calm, and eyes stay shut. If you made it this far, it should now be five o'clock. One hour left until sunrise. One hour left to go through this. Trapo Espiritu will be well aware of this and will start using more drastic tactics than before. The slight creaks you heard on your walls and ceiling will turn into violent thumping. Your name being called. This will now have morphed into a very recognizable voice of a loved one of yours who most likely passed. Don't be fooled. This is not your loved one, just another one of Trapo's impersonations. The voice will grow louder and more demanding the longer time goes on. The liquid dripping on your face will have increased in rate, and you may feel drenched by it. If you have still not opened your eyes and kept silent, then it should now be 5.50 in the morning. Only ten more minutes. Now, Trapo is starting to get desperate. The thumping you heard will now be replaced by what feels like an earthquake in your room. Your bed will start shaking violently, covers thrown off of you. The liquid will have stopped, but this is replaced by the terrifying fact that Trapo is now on the end of your bed. Your eyes are almost able to open on their own, so you must now keep your eyes closed as tightly as possible. Stay calm. Stay still. Keep your eyes closed. It's almost over. Trapo's demanding shout of your name in a loved one's voice will now have changed to a violent screech of your name in the same voice, but warped and ruined. It is now one minute until sunrise. One minute left. Stay strong. Stay calm. Stay still. Don't scream. Keep your eyes closed. Your bed is now shaking even more violently than before. Your head vibrating. Your body shivering in the freezing cold. Your ears shriveling from the piercing scream of the malevolent entity. Trapo Espiritu is now right on top of you its face inches from yours. It cannot kill you, and it cannot hurt you, but it can scare you. This is an ultimate test of bravery, an ultimate test of trust. You are now face to face with a powerful and evil being, able to kill you with ease, and the only thing that is protecting you are your two shut tight eyes. The last ten seconds have come. With that, Trapper will scream loudly, horribly. You will feel the residue of spit and heat and stench coming from its unnaturally wide mouth as it blasts your eardrums with its shriek. Then, as soon as it started, as it will seem, it will have stopped. All of it will have stopped. The shaking, the screaming, 
and even the liquid on your face will be gone. Your covers will be on your bed, and nothing will have changed. Everything will be just as it was yesterday. Not a single thing moved. Sunrise has come, and it is now safe to get up. When you do, you will have forgotten about your encounter with the being, and even about the previous day. Trapu Espiritu will have gone, and will have taken your memory of it, and the day before, with it. It does not want you to remember it if you survive, and make sure you don't. You will serve yourself breakfast in your kitchen, and when you do, you will find a small white paper on your kitchen table that says Frequentar Finales or Haunting Ends. It will all be over then. You will end up throwing the paper away and going on with your normal life. Trapo Espiritu will never haunt you again. You have won the game and Trapo will go on to find another unlucky player. If you have, then thank you for listening this far, and I hope this information helps you. I finished talking to you just in time. I can now smell the stench of rotting eggs and scum, and can hear the scratching at the closet door. Trapo Espiritu is upon me. So I hope you enjoyed this special Sunday bonus story. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow. That's right, yep. Stick into the schedule. Moving to Holland or not, doesn't matter to me. I will be delivering you stories Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Always. <laughs> Nearly missed last Friday, but just managed to squeeze one in there. Little one. And of course, that's why you've got the bonus story this evening. Well, my dear friends, I will be back tomorrow. So until then, sweet dreams and bye-bye. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time listening to me. Now, if you enjoyed the Dr. Creepin experience, then come find me on Facebook. Come chat with me on Twitter. Listen to the background music and download it if you like on SoundCloud. Drop by the store, pick up a t-shirt. And, importantly, if you've got a story you'd like me to read, send it to Dr. Creepin's Vault, the subreddit I set up so that I could read your stories. Now, Looking forward to seeing you all again real soon, so come check me out, okay?